this one should be a short one. <clears throat> I wasn't really planning on making a video about this, uh, which is thermostat replacement, because uh, Steam Wally has a really good one or two on it, actually. And I'm also uh, a little sick right now, so if I sound a little funky, that's why. Uh, here's the issue I ran into. Uh, my car is a 1961 Series 2, and from the literature I've been able to find since looking it up because the new thermostat wouldn't fit, uh, they only made this style of thermostat housing for 1961. Um, it may have been 1960 as well, but uh, I don't know. I don't have any concrete evidence on that. As you can see, being at uh, Series 2, let me see if you can get down in here. It's got the uh, deep bottom on the cylinder head right beneath the thermostat. The uh, later series have a really angled one that's like that. I'll insert a picture of my spare engine, which I got the uh, <coughs> to other top of the house radiator housing, not radiator housing, the thermostat housing. Uh, I stole that off of. That, new, that other top fits with the new thermostat, but uh, my old one doesn't, and here's why. The thermostat housing itself, I, I've got it off here. It's got the bypass pipe on it as well. It has this ridge around here which seats the thermostat. Now, in the one that was in here, and this one, as you can see, is stuck open, uh, the thermostat goes down in there, kind of sticks out the bottom a little bit, and then the upper housing pushes onto there, and it actually, if you see this rolled, kind of crimp around the edge. The interface on this is actually small enough that it pushes on that crimp and pushes it and it makes a seal there. However, when you go to put this thermostat in, which fits in this housing, all these housings are the same size by the way, and this is the newer wax type thermostat. One issue with this being smaller is, uh, let me see if I could get you in frame. Yeah, it doesn't really uh, fit. So, <coughs> excuse me. Whereas with this one, yeah, it fits beautifully. Okay, you are zoomed out all the way. So with the lighter model one, it's a little bit wider in there. And it's got the O-ring groove in it. So this thermostat actually seats completely in there. And then it's got enough overhang that it'll seal on the oops, seal on this ledge, especially after I insert the new O-ring. So this is a later model. I think they started making these with Series 2A, as far as I'm concerned. I've heard a few people having an issue with this uh, on forums, but it's not a common issue because I believe these thermostats were only used in this configuration for one year. The earlier ones, Series 2, were early series 2 had a weird top to it that came up like that tall and had a longer bellows type thermostat with the bypass hose coming down from the side and whatnot. It's, it's kind of weird but uh, it's just kind of a uh, public service announcement this is what I had to go to to get it fit to fit. Luckily I had a spare engine that had the right top on it and uh, stole it off of there. All right. Hope this helps someone. Like, comment, subscribe, and catch you on the next one.